It was a hellhole. It was a death trap. Seeing this orange wall of fire, it felt like seeing a monster. I haven't seen them and there's been flames shooting out of the building for the past 30 minutes, so I hope it's okay. Our district attorney, Nancy O'Malley, did activate a criminal investigation. We have located and recovered 36 victims. Shortly after I moved in, the transformer blew. Um, and we had no electricity, and I was asking, well, how come we're not calling PG&E? Well, that's when I found out it was an illegal hookup to PG&E. People have been wondering if you have anything to say to them. They're my children. They're my friends, they're my family, they're my loves, they're my future. What else do I have to say? Our records didn't show that an inspector had been inside the building in the last 30 years. We will not scapegoat city employees in the wake of this disaster. We will never see them again. And uh, we just want justice. Newly released documents from the city of Oakland show several city agencies, including the police department, visited the ghost ship warehouse dozens of times in the months and years leading up to last December's deadly fire. Almena and Harris knowingly created a fire trap with inadequate means of escape. They then filled that area with human beings and are now facing the consequences of their actions. The report reveals because of the extensive damage, investigators don't know what started the fire. It was another emotional day in court. Leah Danielle Vega was on the witness stand most of the day. She was a ghost ship resident who described the ghost ship as a stone hut, saying the building was not intended for humans. This is one of several Oakland PD body cam videos obtained by our media partner, the Bay Area News Group. In this clip, you can hear one of the officers describing the warehouse as a huge fireplace. More than a year before, the ghost ship burned down. I'll be so worried about all the electrical wires. The two men who ran the warehouse struck a deal with the DA today. Derek Almena got nine years, but will likely serve three and a half, while Max Harris got six, but should be out in less than two years. We just wanted some, some justice, some fair justice. You saw what occurred, which was wholly unexpected. Alameda County Superior Court Judge James Kramer rejected the ghost ship fire plea deal. Well, he has never been remorseful at all. Almena's actions appear to play the largest role in the judge rejecting the joint plea deal. We'll be going after the landlord, the slumlord. We'll be going after the fire department. We'll be going after Child Protective Service. We'll be going after the sheriff. We'll be going after Oakland police. It was certainly an intense, intense beginning to, you know, the trial. Somberly, prosecutors went through the names and the photos of the 36 people who died on December 2nd, 2016. He's been in custody for two years. Uh, waiting to tell his story. Harris calmly addressed the jury. I think the worst thing he could have done for his own case was to open his mouth. I thought he started beautiful. The long-awaited testimony of Ghost Ship founder Derek Almana began with long periods of silence. He became emotional when asked by his attorney if he felt responsible for those who died at the ghost ship. Quote, I'm spiritually and morally responsible for it. He speaks around his answers. He tries to negate what he has said in the past. 